In this lesson, I want to talk about more about connection mode. If you click the connection mode, as you can see, the center of all objects will be appear and you connect them to each other. Uh, for example, in this cloud, I want to connect with this heart. For example, this cloud is moving to linear velocity at the positive direction of X. As you can see, <coughs> It's moving in this direction. I want to connect the heart with it. Simply click your connection. It is important to connect which to which. If you click and drag and release on this point, you connect. Uh, this is your parent and this is your child object. Okay. And as you can see, the cloud will be carry the heart. But you can select the joint and delete it. But if you click and drag and select, click and release the mouse over this cloud, as you can see, the red circle means here it is the axis of the rotation and this is the child. And as you can see, it's a fixed and it has no velocity. As you can see, the cloud has velocity, but it is still in position. So the connection is important because the heart is parent of the uh, cloud and the parent is still in position and it does not move because it forced the cloud to stay in position. So connection, which to which is very important. Or you can connect the heart to the character, for example. I'm going <clears throat> select the character and delete that from this position. Okay. It is for previous lesson. Make it smaller and you can change it to fixed or uh, physics. For example, I make it physics to interact with uh, other make uh, copies and connect connect and click and drag and connect them with the chain okay this connection here is a fixed but they are rotating as a tail and the last one is rotating like this because the, <coughs> the green circle is on it test it here as you can see if i jump you can uh, make a tail for your character there okay as you can see it is very heavy because i joined some other object to the up character and it is physically and they are heavy so if you want to jump higher more power go to your character settings and here you can change the uh, force jump higher number if you want so in this lesson i want to uh, understand you that the uh, red circle in connection is rotation one okay i want to give an example a nice example about the connection <clears throat> i want to go in this scene and make a balloon the balloon will be moved to this direction had a change and a basket to carry the character so for that, I insert a mushroom here, make it a bigger, that is a balloon, and this is a fixed, okay? This is fixed. And give a linear velocity, for example, 5, and it is moving this direction. But I want to give a wake-up component to that, as explained in the previous lesson, that when I reach to that, it will be activate and move. Wake up to the distance space. In my experience, it's 200 distance is enough and sleep after um, 800 pixel. <clears throat> and you can measurement your pixel by something like this. For example, this is uh, PNG that has a 100 pixel and going to the view uh, view 
actual size and you can measurement for example ddd from here to here is one two three four six hundred okay you can measure like this but i know in my eye that it is 200 as you can see if i approach the and it's moving back up and moving okay <clears throat> i have some uh, change graphic here you can insert it and this mushroom i want to be higher it's below that and you can hit sss to make a chain bring a basket oh that's so big <clears throat> make it bigger i want to approach the mushroom jump on basket and the balloon carry me to the other side of the valley okay everything is right and you can activate the connection and connect them okay i want two things i want to this basket the uh, root accent axis of rotation uh, be there i want to act something like this so i need a uh, green circle red circle here <clears throat> so i connect from this to this and i want to another uh, axis of rotation here i want to give it the back of the mushroom select that and w to move it here but it is the back i can see it bring it here so you can uh, click and drag click and drag click and drag click and drag in here and click and drag it there this is oh no 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 it's not correct delete that click and drag from the mushroom to the i want to this object be a uh, position for rotation okay and bring it at the back of the mushroom so this place and this place are access for rotation okay uh test it this is fixed and test it and solve the problem as you can see if i uh, approach it they are fixed in position because there are fixed you have to make them physics make it physics and make all of the change selecting from here and make them physics okay it has to be fixed because if you physics that it's drop drop down and all of them have to be physics okay and as you can see if approach the basket going and the axis of rotation is correct as you can see the axis of rotation is here and here the these uh, red circles are very important to them uh, okay now i want to jump on that but the collision of the basket is not correct if you activate the debug as you can see if i jump i hit the <clears throat> collision and i want to go inside the basket okay for that my character has to be the upper layer because i want to go in behind the basket oh that's correct the basket is um, the lower la layer of the character and go in here and change its collision shape i want to make it down so my character can go in inside that collision this is a collision and the character hit that space and make it debug as you can see character can no jump that and another problem is the collision of this change i will hit that collision and the basket will be moved suddenly so go select and the, all of the chain and there are physics collision shape to no collide okay collide nothing and now i think is everything correct going here and jump oh as you can see i'm the basket the basket has to be upper layer going at up this is my character and the basket is above 
me upper layer, click and drag it upper layer, and oh, I will join that way. Select it again, and I can do something interesting. Um, for example, insert some chain again here and make a wall for that. You can uh, hide it. But it's there. Make it physics collide, and you can rotate it like this. Activate the debug tools. I want to make a wall so my character does not fall down. A make a wall like this, and I hide them. And hide this and test it okay I want to jump right now and as you can see I didn't fall there nice okay I think they are not exist anymore I can change the opacity to zero I can uh, yes this is the best way change the opacity to the zero so they are in a scene but you cannot uh, see them they are in a scene that has a collide to other object okay my basket again going down you can make it up and now turn on the debug and everything is correct as you can see I can jump right that. Oh, they are falling down because I have to uh, connect them to the others. Okay, connect. Connect to the that. Click and drag and connect to that. And now I think it is correct. And changing them. Select this and select this. Both of them are physics and collide. Okay, now is everything correct? Oh, 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 oh. As you can see, this is this part is uh, axis over rotation, and there will be rotate of that. Mm, that's not good. Changing the changing the connection. I select that. Mm, connect to what? Test with connecting like this. And test it again. So now everything is correct. Oh, I think something else is happened here. The connection is not correct. Hmm. So let's connect like this and test it again. Jump on it and now it's correct. Test the connections to find a better way to solve your issues. Okay, as you can see, a very nice movement and the uh, rotation and the rotation on here and you can prepare your scene like that okay this is the connection and you can um, simulate your idea with a chain and the connection mode hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.